I'm just noting to myself internally how different it feels this morning compared to yesterday morning. But yesterday morning I was frantic and frazzled and anxious because of the workload coming, I thought. And now, today, I have the same workload coming, but I feel a lot better. And I think that has to do with just the fact that my office is just a bit more organized. It's not perfect, but I really, really do think that your environment has like a huge effect on how you feel, you know what I mean? And I knew that my office was disorganized and I was coming back to work and it was just a wreck and I had all this work that was coming and it just sort of piles in the anxiety. But um, I just think that it's interesting that um, I have the same workload coming up, <laughs> but uh, walking in this morning, I just feel a lot better and more ready to deal with it. And again, I think that in large part has to do with your environment. I really do feel hampered from making progress or, or moving forward in a really positive way, ready to take something on if I'm living in chaos. Food for thought. <laughs> for today's schedule, I have three things I want to get done. First and foremost, I want to finish judging and then record the announcement for the winners to the challenge of the month and edit that video. So that's a pretty substantial goal. <laughs> then the other two things are, I need to catch up on emails, which I am sorely behind on, uh, and send out the challenge of the month prizes for last month's challenge of the month. And then three, I need to uh, design a t-shirt. I'm designing a few t-shirts. So uh, basically, we, we really loved how the, the Draw With Jazz t-shirt went as far as like, people wearing it and posting it and stuff. It was a real buzz. And ever since the, the sale stopped, we've still gotten contact from people who missed out who want one. So we want to bring back the Draw With Jazz t-shirt. Um, and we also want to bring some other t-shirts because that was really fun. And I sort of think like, I actually, when I stop to think about it, have quite a few different ideas of what I would like to wear on a shirt. So there's a bit of selfish motivation there, but I feel like that's, that's good because every time I make something because I want to have it. Like that's always a good thing because then other people can have it too. And, and I feel like it's a good gauge as far as what I should be producing. Cause it happened with arty games, right? I didn't make the arty games app because I, you know, sat down with a boardroom of people and thought, what can we sell to these here kids? And what will they buy? I actually sort of thought I want to generate random colors and characters. I want to make an app for me, and I did. And other people are enjoying it too, and I get tweets every day from people playing it, which is awesome. Anyways, I'm blabbering now, but whenever stuff like that happens, I just get this real buzz. Whenever it's at this connective thing, like that's what gives me a kick. It's like the vlog, like whenever I can connect with you guys and share stuff with you guys, I, I love it. So that's why I want to make more t-shirts because A, I want to wear more t-shirts that I make and B, I love if you guys love and wear the t-shirts that I make because just the once that we did that was awesome. And I think to be honest, the reason I only did one t-shirt in a temporary run is because <laughs> I'm easily traumatized <laughs> and, and the last time I made t-shirts was when I was like 14 years old and it was on Cafe Press and I sold like two and it was depressing. So <laughs> I thought no one would buy them and we sold like a, a, like a couple of hundred which was awesome but like nearly everyone that bought them like tweeted pictures and every time I see someone with my book or a shirt or whatever just a big old smile on their faces or not even showing their faces because they're too shy but like just showing them wearing it like makes my day so first of all thank you to everyone who who has taken the time to share themselves enjoying the t-shirt and second of all hopefully you'll have some more cool ones coming that you'll enjoy as well so Fingers crossed that uh, you love those because I want to make ones that I love too. Anyways, I'm getting distracted and I really need a focus to get this Challenge of the Month stuff done, so wish me luck. So this part of the video is an artistic time lapse of me checking over and judging the entries of the Challenge of the Month, but what I neglected to realize is that being sped up so fast would make me look like I'm having little seizures and every time I yawn it looks like I'm just going nom, 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 nom. It was tough, but especially the finalists that I, I had to choose from, it was really difficult to, to pick the winners, but anyways, the uh, announcement will come out technically, what, well, tomorrow which by the time you see this vlog will be about now. So <laughs> go check it out. Uh, time to record the, uh, the announcement video. Test. 
The theme of the March Challenge of the Month was called Lord of the Hogwarts, where participants were required to combine the universes of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings in a creative way, but the most important thing is now I have an excuse to bring in my sword. This is Aragorn's sword! This is relevant! It's relevant! Alright, great success on uh, rendering the Lord of the Hogwarts slideshow and showcase videos. Both of those are done and dusted. Well, at least they will be when they're rendered. And out of the three things I wanted to get done, I got done everything except the t-shirt thing. But that's okay, because that's something I can ever weigh at whenever I get a moment, if I ever get a moment. <laughs> Question of the day comes from Carsten Frank, who says, I hope you enjoy your stay in the States and, of course, your B-Day on the 20th of April. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm getting married on the 22nd of April. Would it be okay if I could maybe use your version of I'm the Luckiest for our wedding video? Greetings from Germany. Yes, that's awesome. Okay, so for context for those of you who don't know what this person was asking about, I made a little music video thing as a gift for my wife on our first anniversary, which was like a song by Ben Folds that I covered called The Luckiest, which I used the photos from our, our wedding and our honeymoon uh, in, the, in the video. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. It's super cool because the photos we got were like really special. I, I am a... I wasn't fussy with anything when it came to the wedding. It was all her choice, but I was really picky with a photographer. And we found this amazing photographer who goes by Mauro, designed by Mauro. And he actually, uh, when we met with him to organize our wedding photo shoot, he said, you guys aren't going to New York anytime soon, are you? And we were like, well, no, but why? And it turns out he wanted to, to shoot some photos in New York with a couple. We were actually, though, going to be in LA the week after he wanted to do something in New York. So we cancelled our previous local honeymoon plans and we were like, let's bugger it, you only live once. Let's go do our honeymoon in New York. So the, the photos from uh, in that video are both uh, at our wedding venue locally in Melbourne and also with uh, New York photo shoots with this amazing photographer. So it's super worth checking out just for the photos alone. And of course, if you enjoy my, my singing voice, you can check that out too. Uh, word of caution. We have a flair for the dramatic. <laughs> I do want to take a moment to highlight this shot. This was my favorite shot from our whole New York photo shoot thing on our honeymoon. And I just love it because normally these steps in Times Square are just filled with people sitting down or walking around or whatever. But uh, they were closed off because the weather had just rained and uh, they, they actually had rope that we were like, oh, screw it. It's such a cool photo. So we jumped to the rope and we got a whole bunch of photos. There's a light behind her that uh, the photographer's lighter put there to get that really cool glow effect and uh within like seconds police were like coming to like take us out of that spot but i love it because we like broke the law to get this epic photo and it's like a once in a lifetime photo it's so cool there's a bit of a throwback Thursday for you. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Uh, tomorrow is going to be a fun day because tomorrow is a VR day because I am this coming weekend going to be packing up the whole VR studio and the shed because I have to, like, you know, make room for a builder to knock it all down. So I'm going to be using the virtual reality room as much as I can in one day. I'm going to try and at least get footage for, for two videos. If I could get three, that'd be great. But... That just means I have a couple of VR videos that I'll be able to set aside uh, for the coming few weeks and months while the studio is being worked on. And then the next time I do VR videos, hopefully we'll be able to do some more ambitious stuff and uh, fingers crossed we'll be able to do mixed reality soon too. Anyway, that is it for this video. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow in the VR studio. That was awkward. I've never, I can't smoothly do a wink. Random additional update to the end of the day. I've actually popped into the studio in the evening. Uh, I had a call with a really cool dude from 
a mixed reality startup in the Silicon Valley. <laughs> uh, they're making like mixed reality, virtual reality production content stuff that I really want to work with them. And uh, I'm hoping to be able to meet up with them when I go to uh, San Francisco for a period of time in my two weeks in the US. Uh, we'll be sort of moving around a bit and we won't have time for meetups or anything like that. But the reason I wanted to tack on this extra little update thing before I pack up and say goodnight is because I also recorded a very quick little update to let people know that we're going to have an extra mini meet and greet for half an hour after the arty party from 4 till 4.30 uh, for people who missed out on tickets. So the update video will be again up on the channel pretty much when you see this on the vlog channel. Uh, so go check it out if that rings a bell. If you missed out on Artie Party tickets and you want to come say hi, uh, get something signed, take a selfie, give me a high five. Uh, the, I'll put the link in the description to the video on the main channel, which has the info. There's also a Facebook event page, which I'm encouraging people who want to come along to that to tick and say that they're coming so we know how many to expect. Anyways, that's the extra update tacked on thing. Good night.